What's up guys, it's Claudio from Visual Motor WordPress Teams and in today's video I'm going to learn how to enable the WP Bakery page builder features into the WooCommerce products editor, okay? So, before I can continue, please take a moment to hit the subscribe button, like this video and share this content with a friend of yours. I have no idea how much it helps us because we bring daily videos about WordPress, SEO, plugins, optimizations and many many more topics. So, WooCommerce by default have the classic editor of WordPress. So you only can edit WooCommerce products descriptions using the classic editor. That is good, but quite outdated. And what can we do about it? We can enable the WP Bakery or any other page builder to work into this part. How? Go to WordPress dashboard. To access WordPress dashboard, it's your domain plus WP admin, WP login, enter the email or username and password, reveal the left sidebar of menus, hover your mouse over the page builder that you are looking for, you are looking to enable. So in my case, it's going to be the WP Bakery page builder and find the rule manager, okay? Right here, in post types, you're going to search for post types, change for custom and enable the page builder to work into any post type that you want. For example, in my case, product, okay? So the WooCommerce product post type. You scroll down, hit the save change button. And now, as soon as you go to the WooCommerce products and try to customize some product, you're gonna be able to see the WP Bakery page builder buttons on it. And you're gonna be able to edit the products into the front end or into the back end. Apply elements, change columns layouts, apply image, just like this and create the design that you want for your product long description. As soon as you do your change, hit the update button so you're gonna be able, so you can be, see the product description. Same case in the case that we are working into the front end of the products. But talking about products, I highly recommend you to work into the back end. I think it's better, but up to you. It works into the front end as well. just like this. You can enter elements, add templates, and do the change in the way that you wish. Simple, right? And that is. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to use the comment section below in the case that you have any question. Don't forget to check out the Visual Moto products, an amazing portfolio for WordPress teams, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. All the best!